Let's take an after hours tour of the Brick Addict Design Center. Some more stock. This is kind of just random stuff right here. Some uh, motors, stuff like that. Got a bunch of boxes of them. Some manuals. When stuff comes in, usually it hits this shelf first. And um, then it makes its way in there. This here is a build room. This place is messy. They left a pretty good mess for the morning crew. The morning crew is going to come in and be like, what? Cool sets up there. More manuals. Yeah, we get like tons and tons of filing cabinets worth of manuals. Lots of sets. Lots of tires. There's about. Mm, I don't know, six, seven hundred sets in there. Some stickers for some stuff they're messing around with. Let's go in the big room. Got a vacuum cleaner. Not Lego, but hey, we need to clean up somehow, right? What is this non-Lego I see? Oh, this is the stickers things. Lego's all over the place. This is our non-Lego and or broken Lego bin. If it's too broke, we trash it. Otherwise, we donate it. This is where Legos are sorted and then cleaned and then sorted again. Got some stuff going on over there with train track. Hey, look at that pink. I didn't even know we had all that pink. Creepy. More parts than Boeing and Airbus combined. These designers. That's that. Hey. Part of the Palace Cinema. These designers are messy. Look at that. Pieces everywhere. I think somebody needs to clean up. Masonry bricks. Palace Cinema parts right there. Yes, they have had to scrap a Palace Cinema. Nothing like after hours at the Brick Attic Main Design Center. This is a little uh, mock we're working on. A test, I guess you could say. We're throwing together with premium parts. It's going to be cool when it's done though. I've seen the uh, design for it. Uh, let's see, what do we got? A bunch of medium azure. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love medium azure. There is a non-Lego bolt hole. H-U-L-L. -L. Ah, more airplane parts. More airplane parts. This must be the airplane assembly area. Wow, look at this. Is that a, that looks kind of like part of an old 80s Lego antenna. Just tons of bins of stuff. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the video where we're uh, showing the method to the madness of organizing all this stuff. Yes, there is a method. All of those bins are full of stuff. Those shelves used to be completely full. We pulled a lot of that stuff in for the cities that we're working on. A lot of trees. A lot of these parts go in our sets. Parts is parts, right? Need yellow, there's yellow. You can kind of see the method to the madness a little bit. 
rocks. The after hours at Brick Addict. And you know what? If you want to see the Lego City, which is in a different building, be sure to check out that video. Not Legos. Everything. I think every drawer in this place has Lego in it. Lots of kind of half sets. Drawers with a little of everything. And these shelves will probably be completely stocked again in about a week and completely empty again a few days after that. Because that's just how we roll. Some smaller pieces over here. I think some of this is kind of backflow. Not Lego. <laughs> And then, yep, there's some overstock type stuff. And there it is. All right. Design center tour of the Brink Addict. Main design center and one of our buildings. Be sure to check out our old videos. We've got all kinds of interesting videos on there you might like. And, um, who knows what else you'll see. We've got all kinds of stuff on the channel. And please, 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 if you're not yet subscribed, click down there and subscribe. Please like the video if you like it. If you like behind the scenes vlogs and stuff like that, be sure to click up there. If you like highly detailed Lego sets, unlike that one, be sure to click over there. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. And we will see all of you next time right here on Brick Addict.